Hey guys, welcome to our lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these new Life Cuisine bowls. This is like Lean Cuisine. Um, it is a lifestyle bowl, low carb lifestyle. It's creamy chicken and rice cauliflower bowl with white meat chicken with rice cauliflower, tomatoes, carrots, and a lemony tahini sauce. Mm. Um, it is a 10 and 1 8 ounce or 287 gram meal, 13 grams of net carbs, 22 grams of protein. Uh, it looks pretty decent. So I bought these at Kroger, it was $3.99, uh, not too awfully bad. The whole meal is 250 calories. And here's your other information for you, pretty low and everything, it's pretty decent. So directions, cooking directions, uh, microwave oven only, so no oven directions. So leave film on the bowl, cook for three minutes on high, stir and recover, and then cook for another two and a half minutes on high. And then let it sit for one minute and enjoy. So, yeah, pretty easy to follow directions. There's what we're looking at. Pretty heavy bowl, actually. So, I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back. Hey, so here it is out of the microwave. It's weird how all that green, like, I gathered in the middle like that. It's weird. Because um, I didn't stir it that way. <laughs> it's just naturally occurring. It must have bubbled up on top of whatever liquid was in there. So I'm gonna stir this up really, you can see it has plenty of the um, carrots and the chickens, quite, quite a bit of chicken in there and whatever these are, look like uh, chickpeas or something. Anyway, I don't know what they are. So I'm going to um, let this cool off and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I gave it a minute to cool off. So here's the one I'm gonna take. It's got uh, beans, kale, carrots, the rice, the cauliflower, all that. So, those are garbanzo beans, by the way. I had no clue. Uh, garbanzo beans, and it also has feta and Parmesan cheese, all kinds of different stuff. So here we go. The carrots definitely have some crunch still to them. Um, let me make sure that that was the actual of the carrot. Yeah, definitely have some crunch to it. The rice cauliflower, I also think that's a little crunchy. I get glasses on so I can make sure I'm getting just the cauliflower part. It's hard to get just the cauliflower because it's all so mixed together. Yeah, even the rice cauliflower has some, some crunch to it. It's not crunchy like raw, but it does have some, some texture to it. Um, Flavor-wise, I like the flavor. Um, for me, I don't like a, a really crunchy um, carrot or cauliflower. I like them kind of cooked to where they're mush. So um, for me, the textures are really, they're not horrible. They're just crunchier than I would have liked. I do have to say the chicken has a really good texture to it. It's not dry at all. There's not a ton of chicken in here, but there's enough where you can get a bite here and there. You can get a bite every time, but you can definitely get a bite here and there. Um, my only complaint really, the flavors are good. It's kind of got this little hint of a spice. It says it's lemony. I don't really get a lemon flavor really at all. I taste mostly um, the vegetables and it's, it's a decent mix of vegetables. The flavors go good together, um, but it's the season, the flavors of the sauce itself i wish were a little stronger um they're there you definitely get a spice like a peppery spice not like a burn your throat spice but you do get a peppery spice but it's um i don't know i wish the flavors were a little more developed in the sauce it's really kind of bland uh, sauce wise except for those spices um it does help make the vegetables come through that's for sure so if this is a meal that interests you honestly get it if it doesn't then don't get it you're not missing anything if you're skipping it it's not like it's a wild meal um, but if this, if you're on the low carb lifestyle and this fits in your carbs, um, and that fits in your diet, then, then go for it. Try it out. I personally, I'm going to give it a three out of five. I think it's an okay meal. It's not something I would go out and buy regularly by any means because it's not my kind of meal, but just judging on the meal itself, it's not a bad meal. It's just not my personal kind of meal. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Definitely not a bad meal, but uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.